I'm still in charge? Talk on your aspirations. I've always wondered, sort of, you know, before Credit arrived in Rogue One, you know, what was Vader thinking? And there's sort of like, you know, a combination of Thor here from footage from Obi-Wan and Rogue One coming together to create this sort of like setting prequel before Credit arrives. You know, that there must have been some thought in Vader's castle where he's thinking, oh, you know, not this guy again. Or, you know, I'm going to teach him a good lesson before he comes this time, you know, because Vader is really, really annoyed with Credit and he doesn't stand for his sort of you know, insubordination. And I think, you know, the idea that Vader's like been doing a bit of dark meditation before he even sees him, when we see that door open up and Credit sort of like stumbles in and says, hey, I'm still in charge. Vader's probably thinking, you know what, I've been thinking about what I'm going to do to you. And, yeah, I'm going to choke you. I'm going to do my good old choke and take you down and teach you a lesson. And this must have happened for a lot of Vader's victims, you know, as they arrive on Mustafa. You know, what, what, what fate awaits them as he communicates with their generals, their, you know, superiors, or even themselves, you know, like, it's like, oh, my God, I'm going to see, like, the darkest headmaster ever, and I might get choked to death, or hey-ho, there's worse things that can happen. But Vader just carries on, and just says next, and just looks out on those lava fields and awaits for their arrival. Beautiful.